Hi, mamas and friends. It's Sarah from Late Night Coffee Moms. And it is <clears throat> the day that we begin our 2019 Family Readathon. Woo! All right. So it's 8 o'clock. At this moment, I'm going to tone down a little bit. At this moment, my kids are trying to take a power nap. They're kind of playing. I could see them right from where I am. And um, they're kind of trying to take a power nap so that they've rested a little bit before we just dive into the reading and the fun and stuff. Oh, my. my. Yeah. So this is what I look like before <laughs> the readathon. Readathon, again, is 24 hours of reading as much as we can. Some of that will be audio. Most of it will be books for me. Um, I've already gone through my kids' book lists with you. Um, I don't think either one of them added anything to their book lists. My oh, my daughter, instead of just doing, she was going to do Old Fashioned Girl by Louisa May Alcott. She's also going to try to do um, The Talking Parcel on audio. And then she's going to do, and that's read by Kira Schallenberg at K. Ray, uh, K -Ray Reads. And she's also, we're thinking she might try um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, but we'll see. We'll see about those as we go along. So I'm going to show you my book list. And I was going to read a how to write kind of a book. And I couldn't find it, so I misplaced it somehow. So um, my nonfiction selections are actually fictional, but with an informative slant, if that makes sense. So first off, I want to show you this great idea my son had that we might incorporate next year. And his idea was that every family, like we would draw names. And let's say I draw, I drew my husband's name. I would choose one book I think he would really enjoy or that I've been really wanting him to read. And I would put it on his readathon list. Now, that doesn't mean he has to complete it, but it's there for him. And it's supposed to be something he kind of likes. So... I think that's a great idea, and I think that's something we're totally going to do next year because then we can order the books if we need to or whatever we need to do about that. But this year, instead, he's been really kind, my son, to um, recommend books to us. And this is the one he recommended for me. S.D. Smith, The Last Archer. We've talked about S.D. Smith before in his Green, The Green Ember, right? Well, this is one of his, his short books, short stories, that happen either – during one of the books, in between one of the books, or before them, like a prequel. And this, The Last Archer, that happens during the stories, right? And he's just like a side character that you only get like a peek at in one of the books. And I haven't finished this yet. I started it a long time ago and I haven't finished it. So I'm really glad he's given me that one. Plus, I really do need, hey, Jenny, I really do need short stories because I get tired of reading the long ones when you're going at it for 24 hours. All right. So that was his recommendation to me. And I cannot wait to read it. For my daughter, he recommended The Bears of on Hemlock Mountain because it was a book he really liked that he thought she would like. And for my husband, he recommended um, The Pit and the Pendulum by Edgar Allan Poe. So that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. So other than those, let me show you the rest of my book list. So because I couldn't find my writing book list, this did make my book list. Okay. You see this book and you see how much I've tagged it. And I've already talked to you about teaching the trivium all that kind of stuff. My goal for this book is not to read the whole thing. My goal for this book is to read the chapter that is regarding high school. Yeah, Edgar Allan Poe's awesome. Um, so that is my goal, is to read the one, let's see where it is. Uh, I think it's chapter 13, which is all about your 13-year-olds to your like 16-year-olds. And that's my goal for this book. So no, I am not gonna tackle this huge book on my readathon. I enjoy learning and I like to learn, but I really want this to be more fun and more relaxed and not so much pressure. And if you're anything like me as a mom or a homeschool mama in particular, when you read a book like this, you get a little bit of mommy guilt that you have to put aside and deal with. And I really don't want that to ruin my 24 hour readathon. So I'm only going to read chapter 13 of this book. All right. Then next is one of my, uh, it's a short story and it's, a fictional book with um, a meaningful slant, and that's Forever Loved. It's Eve's story, and this is a retelling of the story of Eve. You know, Adam and Eve? Yeah. It's a creative retelling of her story, Forever Loved, Knowing That God Loves You. 
And it has a whole bunch of cool things in the back. It has a whole bunch of devotionals and stuff in the back, which I'm not going to do at this time. I'm just going to read the story. This has been recommended to me several times. And it's short, so I'm just going to give it a whirl. So there's that one. And again, I'm not going in any particular order with you guys uh, as far as which ones I'm going to read. Hey, Christina. Then another book I'm going to read. This is going to be a reread. Yes, that's totally doable. It's called Reality, Darkness into Light Ooh, let me see, by Melanie Clisby. Melanie Kilsby is a, um, let's see. Let's see how do I describe her. Let's see if she describes herself. She is a, uh, she is a booktuber. So she's on YouTube, but she gives a lot of book reviews and talks about books a lot. And she is actually the one who, who's, whose video shows up when on our readathon for last year. She's the one who introduced me to what a readathon is. And this is her book. She wrote this. It's pretty dark as far as, um, it's, it's a fictional book that could be, uh, legit. So let me just, uh, read the parental caution okay so it's geared toward young adults but it deals with mature subject matter uh like suicide rape the occult and divorce okay if you feel this content is too strong for your child please read it before giving it to them it's really it is it is dark but it has a lot of good messages inside of it and again it's a short one that i can fill in in between some of my meteor ones it's really good she um she is very easy to read about these really dark and heavy subjects and she does it through a fictional character who could be somebody you meet today or could have been me in high school or other people I knew it's a great book if you really want to check out somebody's book that you probably won't find at a local bookstore this is one to try and she you can get her book on um, Amazon so reality darkness into light by Melanie Clisby so I'll probably post something about her later all right and then I do read a cozy mystery because they're just light, a little bit lighter. And the one, I've already started it, is called Peaches and Scream. Uh, when murder threatens her family's orchard, Nola Mae Harper is ready to pick out the killer and preserve her family's farm's reputation. Huh. We'll see. We'll see how it is. Okay, and now, now's the ones I've been waiting for. I'm so excited. Um, this book, I started probably right after our readathon last year, but I just never had, hi Eunice, I just never had a moment to sit down and pour into it, and I did not want to miss a single thing, okay? So it is A Time to Rise by Nadine Brandis, okay? As far as modern day authors go, she is one of my new favorites. I love her writing okay but I've only read this series okay so the first one is called a time to die the second one is a time to speak and this one is a time to rise this will end the story that's why it's so hard for me because I don't want to end it I love these people and I don't want bad things to happen to them and I don't want to say goodbye either so this one is the one I'm most excited to read so I don't I don't know quite when I'm gonna do that and then I have Fox by Nadine Brandis, and I've never read this one yet. Um, this is her first historical fiction. She's got a new one coming out in May, Romanoff, but it's about Guy Fox Day and the gun, uh, the gunpowder plot, and it's she takes the whole gunpowder plot and um, takes the history going on at that time and kind of says, well, what if Guy Fox had a son? And what if his son was infatuated with somebody who would be destroyed by the gunfire, uh, gunpowder plot? So I can't wait to read this one either. This was, I actually have a little tiny book club that I hang out with once a month, and this is our book of the month. So I know I'm definitely going to read this one sometime this month, so I'm not in too big of a hurry to read it this time because I know I'll get to it, and I'm so excited you guys okay Nadine Brandis is amazing she has an amazing YouTube channel she is a crazy excited for Jesus person and 
I, I just love listening to her talk. I love watching her YouTube channels and I love, love, love reading her books. I, I okay, so I've got, this one's historical fiction and this one is like dystopian sci-fi. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's how amazing she is. She can just jump those. It's great. And then, hang on just a second. What is it? Oh, yes. Oh, my daughter wanted me to say she's trying to read Roller Skate Girl, and I've talked to you about that book already. Hang on just a second. Since you're awake, can you go over there and get my book? So there's one more book I might read, and it's kind of, I kind of feel a little bit funny sharing it with you guys and telling you that I might read this book, okay? Because I want to read this book because I want to revisit it. But it will also kindle a desire to work on this book and I have to be careful. And that's because my ARC just arrived today. This is my um, advanced reader copy. That's why there's that funky line in it. Or also known as a proof of my second novel. Yeah, so I might read it. It's a cozy mystery. Hmm, we'll see. We'll see if I can read it without tearing it apart. If I start reading it and start tearing it apart and finding all the flaws, then I'll put it down because this, again, is about fun and it's not about mommy working on the side. So I might read this one or my husband might read this one, but it's just, I can't even explain to you what it feels like it's to touch this <laughs> because it's <laughs> it's my book baby it's my newest book baby anyway so I might dig into that I'm not sure we'll see we'll see what happens oh so I have so many good things to read we are officially starting at nine o'clock I will be back on here at nine o'clock to show you some of the little things we have like um most of these will be on my phone so you'll see things backwards and you won't have the indie Christian writer sign or anything um but to keep you updated, I'm hoping to be on once an hour. If I'm not on, it's either because I am deeply engrossed in a book, which I probably will be, or I've fallen asleep. <laughs> so I'll try to get on once an hour and show you what we're doing and what's going on in our family. If you are doing this too, follow along, post your comments, let me know what you're reading, let me know what you're doing. If you're going to read, but you're not going to jump the 24 hours, with us, still post it, be involved. It's really, I can't tell you how much fun our family has doing this. And we're not all readers. We don't all love to read. It's just, it's fun. It's fun. And you'll see why. All right. I'll see you guys in an hour. Catch you later. Bye.